Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to do two aquariums. I'm going to build two aquariums. The one that you have seen previously, the IKEA aquarium that I built, and a blast from the past, and possibly the jankiest setup I've ever seen. So, throwing a bit of a fish room tour as well. Hello. Um, things, things are not going well. Oh, the lights are knackered. Discus. What are they doing down here? More broken lights. More empty tanks. Plants from the discus tank. What are they doing here? Humphrey. So, yes, the elephant in the room is that the discus tank, which I resealed, I didn't reseal. So it sprung a leak a few days into it being all set up. So I had to tear it back down again and we're starting from scratch which must admit is a bit of a ball ache. So I've now got all the discus down here. I'll spin you around. In fact, let's see if I can get the lights on. They're all cowering in that corner because I've just switched the lights on. But yes, I've brought them all back down here while I try and sort out this tank again. Um, uh, rather not talk about it, but it's just one of those things, I guess. I must have leak tested that big tank for maybe three weeks in total three separate incidents before I moved it and then yeah it's, I mean it's from the tiniest of leaks it was a tiny tiny drip but still a leak is a leak so all the fish are in here while I try and find the source and fix that um, as well in that video another thing that we've done so we've got mega tank over here I made a proclamation in that video that everything sticks to silicon. Silicon's the stickiest thing in the world. But silicon doesn't stick to acrylic. Silicon does stick to acrylic. Silicon sticks to everything. It's very hard to not stick to things with silicon. So one of my jobs was I was going to put a, a pond liner in Mega Tank to stop it leaking because it was leaking from this corner. So I was going to put a pond liner in. Pond liner does not stick to silicon or silicon does not stick to it, it just peels straight off. So that was a bust. I've now bought some patch tape, some pond liner butyl patch tape to see if that'll do the job. So again, another fail failure ongoing. The lights are knackered on these tanks. That's the plants from the discus tank in here with no lights again. But today we're focusing on these. This is a tank I've had for donkey's years and that's the IKEA tank on top and the, possibly the jankiest ever tank stand that I've ever made. These are just some CLS timbers that I've screwed together, spanned across, resting on the racking over there. But it should be plenty strong enough for that, but it's possibly the jankiest thing I've ever built in the fish room. Um, and the reason I want to get this one back up and running is because of this guy over here. So the Oscar, this tank is just too small for him. He's grown, I know the Oscars grow fast, but they've grown a hell of a lot faster than I had anticipated. Um, and again, another disaster. I had two of these and he killed the other one. Um, I did see him bullying it uh, quite a bit. And that's why I started to do this job. But yeah, I came down the other day and the other one was dead. So didn't catch it quick enough. So let that be a lesson to everyone. Oscars need big tanks quicker than you think. But what a beauty he is, or she. So, Oscar's gonna go in here while I fix Mega Tank. Then we'll do something fancy with this one. So let's get on with it. So let's start off with this one. This is actually a Hockney tank. If you're very old, you might remember these tanks. Um, I haven't seen one. Well, I don't think I've ever seen one other than someone saying, oh, that's an old tank. These, I think they were last around in the 90s. They were like these designer marine tanks. It's basically a, what's it, two and a half foot cube. And it has this kind of internal sulp, sulp? Internal sump even. Um, during the move that all came away, so I've re-siliconed that back in. Just, that's ready to cure. And then it's got the sump in the back with some chambers so it goes, takes water in there, up, over, and then pumps back out this hole. Uh, and yeah, it's a decent size. For lighting, I'm going to just use one of these. So I've got these, this LED spotlight, which I'm going to mount up underneath this. That should give us some decent light. 
And then I'm just going to keep it quite simple, maybe a few rocks. Um, it's just going to be a, a holding tank for now. I have some plans in the future to do something a bit fancier with it. But yeah, get it cleaned up, get it filled up, get it running and get the Oscar in there. That's the main task. So we've got that one about half filled. And up top, I've just put some sand in for a moment. I've put a sand in, a light on, I've got a bit of a background. It's just really some poster board, black poster board, but I think that will give a half decent effect. If there weren't so many reflections, hopefully we'll sort that out as well before the end. But I'm wondering what to put in there. Um, for those of you who know, <laughs> when I live stream from the fish room, live stream every Friday by the way, 9pm UK time, I use this tank as a desk almost. Um, so I don't know if that'll work, but I might be able to get away with that. But that'd be cool to have that as the backdrop as well. So I want to see something in there. And I've been thinking about putting the rainbows in there. Um, we've got the dwarf neon rainbows, got quite a colony. They've started breeding. They're quite cool to look at in a well-lit tank. But I've got them in this tank over here at the moment. And all these tanks, they're quite long, but they're end on. So I only ever see them the end of the tank. So I think it might be quite cool to have them in a longer tank to see them going back and forward. Also thinking about puffers, putting the pea puffers in that tank. Not sure. Right, that's that bottom tank filled. I just need to put in a few rocks, maybe a couple of bits of wood. Um, and then we can get the Oscar in. He's over there eyeing it up, going, oh yeah, I quite fancy that. And then we've got this tank up here. So I've put on this kind of plasterboard or what do you call it, poster board backing. It's fine. Um, I'm just trying out that single bit of wood. I think I'm going to go with the rainbows, but let me know in the comments if you'd rather see something else in here. I'm going to go with the rainbows. I might get the Queen Arabesque Pleco, which is in there, in there as well. Uh, and then maybe some special fish that I might be getting soon. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to use this um, just to because this is at the furthest extreme of the fish room, the fish room is heated, um, but it does. This is, if there is going to be a draft, it'll be there. So I'm just going to use this heat mat to make it, give it a bit of a backup. And put some plants in, put some fish in. Let's see how it looks. Come back in a minute. And there we go. The next morning, all is well. And looking good, if I do say so myself. The Oscar... Moved him across, hiding behind those rocks. Proper sulking. I've never known anything like it. It's the most melodramatic fish I've ever owned. I've added those stones to give him something to hide behind. It's gone a bit cloudy because they were quite dusty. But I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, but upstairs, looking really good. I'm really happy with this. So this is kind of at eye level. As I said before, that was normally my desk for doing my live stream when I'm in the fish room. Remember, live streams, Friday night, 9 o'clock UK time. But in here, we've now got the dwarf neon blue rainbows. Mix of males and females. You can tell the different sex by the colours of the tails. You'll see some of them have got red tails, some of them have got yellow tails. That's the males and the females. You've got a couple of babies. But for planting, I've just gone with whatever I had around. So I've got a load of java fern, made this kind of wooden bridge um, with my DIY background and DIY everything. And they've got the Queen Arabesque Pleco in there. Really happy with that. I did a couple of floating plants as well. So I think that looks good. It's, it's just a little bit of a change. A lot of my tanks that I keep in the fish room, for instance, these ones over here, they're end on, so the display face, you can't really see, you can only see it from the end. So I think this makes a bit of a difference that you can see these ones. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. There's loads more jobs to do here in the fish room, so make sure you click that subscribe button. You don't miss any of the future projects that we've got going on. I've got lots of things to fix, lots of things to move around. Just lots going on. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye.